Okay, class. So here is um, my completed, let's say, cover in Illustrator. Um, I cleaned up my file, so I turned off layers that I didn't need. Um, and so here you can see that I've got, um, you know, the vegetables in place and whatnot. So I'm going to save this as a final, right? Um, so I like usually keeping a working version. And then for when I have the final, I'll clean it up or remove any layers that I don't need. And I'll hit save. Okay. And then in Photoshop, because we're going to be using our final to make a mock-up, our visual mock-up, um, I'm going to um, open that EPS file. So uh, this is an old version. This is my final one. Okay. Um, and you'll see this is what it looks like when it opens in Photoshop, right? Um, and what we're going to do is this, uh, the fact that it's so much larger, which is great, it allows you to crop your cover the way you want it to be, right? Um, and so um, I've got our, uh, the dimensions, I quick uh, eight and a half by 11 that's our dimensions this is a previous cover but i'm just going to turn it off so you can or clear it out right so i what i did is i created um a new document so you can see it from step one and I hit oh, create, right? And so you can see this is a brand new document. I'm going to take that final and I'll select all of it and copy it. So edit, copy, I'll go here. I'll go edit, paste or command V, right? And I'll zoom out. Okay, and I'm going to adjust this, I'm going to edit free transform. Um, so I have it sized the way I want it to be cropped, right? So I want to have emphasis on the pot. Okay, so I'm going to place it like that. Once I have it in the place that I want, I'm going to hit enter. Um, I'm going to save this as well, right? Just so I have it as a reference. If I needed to change something, um, I always like having my layered file just in case. Um, and then I'm going to export or actually I'm going to save a copy. You can export or save a copy. Um, the ultimate goal is to make this layered file just a flat JPEG. Okay. So it's, um, now we've created a JPEG that's the correct size. So anything from 10 to 12 for your JPEG quality is fine, right? So I'm going to um, turn off or close this file, uh, save. Um, this is my EPS file. I'm going to close that. Don't need to save it. Just going to tidy up right here, my workspace. Okay. Get a little preview here. Um, I'll turn this off. 
I'll turn this off for now. So I'm going to open the artwork that I just saved. Here it is, right? So this is the flat version. Um, and I'm going to select it. Edit, copy. And then this is the um, book mockup that is in Canvas. You can download it. If you want, you can select a different book mockup or something else uh, from graphicburger.com. Up to you. Um, but I wanted this book cover. So it's available for your download. Um, but if you want to pick something else, you are more than welcome to. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit, paste. I'm pasting my cover. And as you can see, it covers the whole thing. So I'm going to bring down the opacity so I can see through it. And I'll zoom out because my ultimate goal is to put this cover on my mock-up. Right? And I'm going to go to Edit, Free Transform. And you can see it's much larger than the mock-up. I'm going to get it pretty close, actually. This one's pretty straight on, so I don't think you'll need to distort it too much. But I want to just zoom in and double check it. Try and get the corners to match up as much as possible. When it's close, you can hit return, and then you can bring the opacity all the way back up, right? And um, we're going to use a layer effect to make it look like it is, like, actually the book cover itself. And so we're actually going to use multiply. And when I hit multiply, you can kind of see... You know, you can try the different ones just for your curiosity. But when you hit multiply, it actually allows the spine shadow to go through. And um, hit save, command S, right? And I zoom out. Um, and my mock-up is pretty much complete. Um, if you want to add a color background, you're more than welcome to do that. Um, if you find something that you think will work well with your cover, um, I'm going to keep this kind of just light. Actually, actually yeah, pretty light. <laughs> and I'll hit save again. And then I will go to file, save a copy. Go to, I'm going to make a JPEG as well. And so this one I'm saving as a mock up. Hit save. Click OK. All right. And then when I open this up, this is what I just saved here. I've got my mock up file. So that's the only thing. It's the flat JPEG. Then I have the flat art right just straight on um, and then I've got um, the mock-up file the layered file I'm gonna turn that off right so for um, your submission and I'll do that in the next video you're gonna be submitting this flat version this mock-up version and then you're gonna be submitting your illustrator file okay the EPS or the AI file, very similar to um, your sampler case. Okay? Um, and just know that you don't need to reopen it. So if like a, that Illustrator file, that's for me so I can download it, right? You don't need to open it up in the discussion. Um, 
but you know that would complete your your project too so you have to obviously get to this point um but everyone seems to be working towards that so that's good um so in the next video um i'll show you the upload okay but um you know that's from taking your illustrator file into your photoshop mock-up that you download from canvas or if you find your own that's fine too um and then uh you'll be done okay so i'll see whoever wants to be in the next video so you can see how my project gets submitted but if not you know i'm happy pen tooling <laughs>